What's going on everybody? Joe here today and I have a review for you all and I am happy to announce that they are back too so you can finally get a chance to smell what sophistication and also pure excellence smells like. Stay tuned. The fragrance that I'm here to talk to you about today is called number six from Vagabond Fragrances. I believe this was released last year. Correct me if I'm wrong, you could leave it in the comments down below. But I believe this was released last year. And this fragrance, originally I was afraid, was going to be discontinued along with a lot of Vagabond Fragrances. Fragrances. <laughs> Almost a tongue twister. Um, when I got this bottle back in September, October, somewhere around there, they had a sale, I got it, and then shortly after I came to find out that they were down and potentially for a minute not going to be making fragrances, I included this on my top fall and winter list for 2018-2019, but I wanted you ought to also try it. Um, they're back and I'm happy. I'll leave a link down below so you can get yourself um, a bottle. This is a very interesting fragrance. This is unlike any other real designer fragrances or even like some niche just because it's affordable, it performs, and it's different from the norm. When I'm wearing this fragrance, I'm getting notes of black truffle, which almost comes off a little bit chocolatey when mixed with the oud and the vanilla. I'm getting some vetiver, I'm getting some lavender, there's some spices in there with the cardamom. There's a rose note that really makes this thing have all different types of layers some sandalwood some cedarwood some amber i mean there's a lot going on here the projection on this fragrance pretty good i am getting a good four and a half five foot bubble for four hours but the fragrance itself lasts for a solid seven on me. I do feel that this is a little bit more of a mature scent. So make this a 25 and up type of fragrance. Um, this is geared toward men, but I've actually let a few women who are into fragrances and know that I'm into fragrances and um, try it. They wore it the whole day without any problems around the office. Speaking of which, you could wear this in the office, but this is so much more tailored for a night out date, black tie event type of fragrance. Occasionally you can mix in there, you know, add this to your rotation for an office scent, but I wouldn't make this a daily office scent. Overall, I have to say they did a really good job. This fragrance, for the price point, does not smell synthetic. It smells natural. Um, I don't know how the packaging is now with the way that they do these fragrances since the reboot. But I do have the packaging for this one. So let's get into a box throw. When I ordered the bottle, it came pretty much like this in this cardboard kind of thing. I opened it on the opposite side, but you see it was packaged and it had good presentation. I mean, I like this um, waxy seal with the tie around it. It came with a card 
that pretty much kind of depicts the vibe it's going for. And then on the back, it just kind of says the notes and more of, you know, the best time to wear this and all of that. But yeah, this is the packaging that the bottle came with. And there it goes. I would recommend you wearing this in the fall or winter. You could get away with it for the spring nights, but fall and winter for sure definitely goes well. Um, something about this too has a hint of like holiday vibe. I don't know what or why, but something about this makes me like really like this for the holidays. Um, this is a 30 ml bottle and you can see I've used a good amount of it in the short amount of time that I've had this fragrance. My atomizer, again, I don't know how the bottles now are, but for the point of this review, it's like your standard um, decanting atomizer. But I have to say the fragrance is really good. Vagabond Fragrances did an awesome job with this blend and they have a bunch more. A whole bunch more different fragrances geared towards different situations. So definitely check them out if you haven't. Have you tried number six from Vagabond Fragrances or any of the other fragrances? I know they have like a beachy one called 14 which came in the pack as a sample actually. But they have a new one now called like Wonderlust and they have a few other ones. Um, I'm interested in trying them, but if you've tried this or any of their other fragrances, please leave a comment below. Let me know. Um, if you have anything to say at all, just let me know. Thank you all for watching. My name is Joe. I'll see you all later.